Hey everyone, it's Marvely here with another video. You might remember from recent videos this little girly here. If you want to see me unbox this girl, who is, by the way, a teeny tinker's teeny tiny aria, uh, I will link that down below as well as the video where I do her face up and make her wig. Today though, I hope to have some clothes for her because she has been naked long enough. I saw these at the warehouse. They are Barbie fashion play sets. They're Jurassic Park themed ones, which is kind of cool. Uh, now, this doll is meant to be able to fit fashion doll clothes, such as Barbie. Uh, I know Rainbow High Tops work too, as well as Blythe Pants and Ken doll shoes. Uh, I'm not sure if Barbie shoes are going to work. I'm guessing not, because Barbie's feet are very, very small. But I'm quite confident that the clothing items will. I don't think these sets have specific names, but there's this one. I'm really, really hopeful for the dress in here. And then there's this one with a hoodie that looks really cool. It's an oversized one from what I can tell, so that should be quite sweet. These set me back 15 New Zealand dollars a piece, which is kind of on the pricier side, but considering there's literally no other doll line that sells fashion packs, I was quite happy to be able to pick them up. So yeah, let's open them up and see if they will fit little Aria. I'm going to save the dress one for last since that's the one I'm looking forward to and have the highest hopes for. So we'll open this one with the hoodie first. So here we have the plastic bag all ready to be reused and then here attached to the cardboard are all of the accessories. Thankfully it shouldn't be too difficult to detach them because if I open them up I have easy access to all of the little plastic ties. First, of course, we have the main item, the main event, that is this dinosaur hoodie. There's a really cool T-Rex head print and it says, I love dinosaurs. I love the pink color and the sleeves are a bit more interesting than I thought they would be. They almost look kind of poofy, which I like. And there's little cuffs at the end too. It's been a long time since I've had Barbie clothes <laughs> and I didn't have the highest hopes for the quality, but it seems quite nice. There's a hood with a hole at the back and there is also a velcro strip at the back to easily put it on and off of a doll. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on camera but the pink is not completely plain. There is a slight pattern to it too. We have this little bag which has a latch thing that you can attach like that. I don't know if that's showing up at all. Uh, there's a dinosaur on the front and there is a little gap at the bottom, although it doesn't really make sense to me. I feel like it would make more sense for it to be on the top unless I'm holding it upside down, which is quite possible. We have two little bracelets, a teal necklace, a transparent yellow hat cap thing, a pair of purple boots, a green plastic bag, and a really cute pair of heart blue sunglasses. But let's see if I can fit any of it on my teeny tiny. Oh my gosh, it's huge on her, but it's so, so cute to finally see her with some form of clothing. This is adorable. It's like some sort of giant PJ hoodie nightgown type thing, but of course it's got a hood. I underestimated how long Barbie's arms were. Um, this is a teeny tiny doll, <laughs> but I mean, hey, it works and I'm not mad about it. It's quite cute. It's very long. I mean, a good thing though, because she's got no pants or underwear on. Uh, it's not the worst, not the best. I'm happy with it. <laughs> I do think I could get this hat on her, but I'm not brave enough to risk damaging her wig that I spent so much time on. So I'm going to leave this, although it does look to be the right sort of size. These glasses though, I'm curious about these. They look to be the perfect width for her face, so let's give it a go. Okay, but they're perfect for her, look at this. Excuse me, and the blue. <gasps> Whoa, okay. I don't think she's ever gonna take these off. They're actually too perfect for her and they fit her style too. <gasps> Everything. I'm so glad I got this set just for these glasses alone. I mean, I guess it makes them an expensive pair of glasses, but they're just so, so cute. Like, 
look at how well they fit <laughs> oh my gosh i love that you can actually see her eyes through the glasses too like often with playline doll glasses you can't see through them and they're more like a block color but this is pretty good <laughs> I could probably get these bangles on if I stretched them slightly. I'm not quite prepared to do that though, but the necklace works. I'm not the biggest fan of plastic necklaces like this, but it's not bad. The blue bag works to cinch in the hoodie, which is kind of cool, and the green bag works as well as you'd expect. I'm not even going to try the shoes, they're just way too small, so um, yep. That's alright though, I'm quite happy with all of this. Oh my gosh, she is too sweet. But wait, there's more. We have another set, and I just noticed there is another pair of glasses in here, so um, that's exciting. <laughs> and also, of course, the dress that I am very hyped about, so let's get to opening this one. First in this set, we have a yellow singlet top that says, I work with dinosaurs. It has Velcro on the back. We have a really, really cute pink and a blue dress. It's got little dinosaurs and camper vans and all sorts of bikes even. Gosh, it's got quite a lot going on on it. It's really, really, really sweet. There's no Velcro or anything, so hopefully it won't pose too much of a challenge to put on. We have another little bum bag, this blue handbag, a couple of bracelets and quite an elaborate necklace this time round some white sneakers and a baseball cap and as i said before a little pair of sunglasses except this time they are black as cute as she is in this outfit it's time to try even more things on let's take a look at the singlet top first it doesn't fit all that bad although it does sit quite high up at her neck which is not the most flattering look but i mean hey she's got an option now for a singlet top I'm not going to leave this on her for long because the dress is of course the main feature and I don't have pants for her, um, so yeah. <laughs> but it's still good to know that this is a reasonable option. Okay, this actually wasn't too difficult. Oh my gosh, it's almost there. The straps are a little bit long. <laughs> oh dear, she's giving us all a bit of a nip slip. Um, sorry my dear, I'm going to have to adjust that for you because this is just not quite what we're after. <laughs> the potential is definitely there though, like all it would take is like putting a little cinch in the back and that's adorable. Like that, that fits her pretty well. The length is lovely. It looks cute at the top. Like this is really, really sweet. I definitely am gonna work something out with it. The bag does help somewhat to keep the dress in place in the meantime. The necklace looks as I kind of thought it would. I was able to get one of the bracelets on this time around, which is cool, and the glasses are undeniably cute. I'm not going to risk putting this bag over her fingers. I really don't want them to break, so we're not going to be able to use this for now, but otherwise this is another pretty cute outfit. It's not perfect by any means, but it definitely works. And I'm just glad that she's got some clothing options now. She's been naked for as long as I've had her, so, um, yeah, it's about time she got some clothing. <laughs> That's all I have for today, though. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment telling me what you think, and yeah, thanks for watching. It's been lovely, and I'll catch you again sometime soon.